Hello, I'm going to be doing a review for Minol Symbol Cleaner. And I want to show you the before picture of my symbols so you can get an idea of what I'm working with here. And it's a little bit dark, I'm going to brighten it up. Um, so there's a lot of dust on these symbols, which you could probably just wipe off with a damp cloth. But primarily, what I want to get to here is my ride symbol. So my ride symbol has a lot of um, black gunk spots on it and that's from probably using my nylon tip sticks so the, the nylon comes off and gets kind of smeared on there and then collects some dirt and uh, gets funky so anyway this is all of my symbols I said I'll brighten this up but um, so you can see it this is the before. Okay. Now I wanted to show you the product. This is Minol Symbol Cleaner, and it comes in a bottle that's um, it's about half the size of a large chemical spray bottle. You see, compared to my hand, it's just barely bigger than my hand. So I'm going to read you what the specs are on this because there's three products that Minol sells and one of them is a two-for-one pack and I'm not going to be reviewing the second part of the um, symbol care kit. The symbol care kit comes with a Minol symbol polish for brilliant symbols only which is not the same polish as this one. So it's a different polish cleaner than the one I'm reviewing and it also comes with symbol protectant which is a after spray that you put on it and I'm not real sure what that would do put a coating of something on it but anyway it's not these two products and again you could also get this um, Minol symbol polish for brilliant symbols only different bottle than what I'm reviewing so this bottle of Minol symbol cleaner it says no rubbing, no polishing, just spray on and wipe off, restores the original shine. And I'll read you the specs on the back. Minol Symbol Cleaner is a premium concentrated liquid cleaner designed for regular and brilliant finish symbols, which is kind of weird because they have brilliant polish. Simply spray it on the surface and wipe it off to restore the symbol's original shine. Directions. Clean one side at a time. I'm going to be avoiding the bottom of my symbols because they still look pretty polished and bright so I'm just going to be doing the tops. Start by spraying the cleaner on the entire symbol surface. Be sure the cleaner is applied evenly. Allow the cleaner 15 to 20 seconds to work. Simply wipe it off completely with a dry non-lint cloth. Do not allow the cleaner to dry on the surface. For hard to clean areas repeat the process and use a soft brush. Ingredients include organic and inorganic acid, non-ionic surfactants, and stabilizers. Warning, if contacts made with the eyes flush thoroughly, uh, don't drink it, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's the specs of this stuff. Now I'm going to go do my ride symbol on video here so you can see it. Okay, so here's my symbol. I'm going to spray this thing up. dripping all over my arm right now and this symbol is pretty heavy so 15 to 20 seconds I think I'm getting pretty close this is just a towel while I do see the brass getting a bit brighter I don't see the gunk coming off of it Unless, maybe I'm not scrubbing hard enough. Hmm.
Well, I took some dirt off of this towel. That's the first pass. I took some of it off. I'm going to continue to do this, see if I can get it clean. I'm not sure what to think right now. Okay, well, I went through two rounds of spraying this. I took a very mildly abrasive uh, dish pad, went over this and tried to get rid of all the black marks, and they didn't come off. They may have lightened some, but to be honest, I'll tell you the truth. This symbol had a timber of um, more of a reddish color, which I love. You can see it, I think, more in the back. And after doing this, it turned the symbol into like a more yellow, tinny appearance. And to be honest, I don't like it. Um, so, yeah, like I said, the main purpose was to get some of this black crud off of here, and it didn't work. I mean, maybe this isn't designed for that. It probably isn't. I say this is leftover vinyl, apparently, from my uh, vinyl tip sticks, but this thing's heavy. Ugh. Anyway, for my purposes, I think I wasted my time. I'll tell you the spray bottle ain't gonna go very far either. Um, this one symbol going over it twice, feels like the bottle's almost empty already. I would never get through all my symbols, and I'm debating if I should even bother on the other ones. I kinda think I shouldn't. For 10 bucks, I think I've probably wasted my money. And I'm not trying to bag on mine all. I'm sure that they're, um, their symbol polish is just as good as any other company's symbol polish. I suspect if I tried to use Zildjian on here, I'd get the same result. It would just make it a little bit more washed out, and uh, that'd be about it. I don't like it. So, I, I listened to many people before I did this about how they like the color of the older symbols, and um, you know they show character and they have a better sound. I'm hoping I didn't jack up my symbol. Because I have a whole set of Mino almonds, and um, they're an old line that isn't made anymore. So, ten bucks probably not worth it. I wouldn't do it again if I had a choice. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so I'm taking this segment to be fair. This is an after segment. I wanted to compare the look of the uh, crash symbols, which again I'm going to brighten up in the light here. So there's the two, three crash symbols. A little le less light. I've got more light on this ride, so it's going to be deceiving. But there's the after. So you could go to the before and see what you think if this made a drastic improvement or not. Really, maybe I'm wrong. It does look significantly brighter than those crash symbols do. I may go ahead and use the rest of this bottle on the, the crash symbols. See how far I can get. I'm not going to get through all of them. I know that for sure. Maybe I should do these chinas over here. Uh, let me cons let me see what I can do. Okay, so it's becoming clear to me that I like it. This symbol here, I brightened up, and it looks much brighter than the one next to it. Of course, there's dust on the top of this. Perhaps it looked better if I just wiped it off with a wet cloth, but without a doubt, it is brighter. So you can see the right symbol now, and this china adjacent to this other china. Now that's more in the light, so some of this is deceiving. I'm going to keep going. I'm getting low on the spray. I do not think I'll make it all the way around. Okay, just for comparison, I haven't done this symbol here yet, but I wiped it off with a damp cloth. So you can see here's dusty symbol, damp cloth, dusty symbol, polished symbol. I did my other china which looks pretty brilliant. So we'll see what this symbol looks like immediately after I polish it compared to the two dirty ones and compared to what it looks like with just a damp cloth. Okay, so here's that same symbol post-polishing, and there's dirty, polished, dirty. 
polished. I gotta say it looks better now than it did before. I'm gonna do the rest if I can get through the bottle. Okay, so I wanted to mention something about my method here. After I wiped it off, I didn't just stick it on my cymbal stands. I actually hosed them off with the hose and I used a second um, dry towel to get any residue off of these things. And the reason I did that is because when I was a kid drumming, I used some cymbal cleaner on um, some Pisces I had. And it was great at the beginning, but that acidic stuff apparently left a residue and started clouding up the, the look of the cymbals after a while. So I want to make sure that everything got off of these cymbals, that it was basically just metal and dry towel by the time I was done. So do not spray this stuff while it's on your drum set. This stuff is acidic. It will get on your drums, mess up your shells. If the paint is painted on wood, might take your paint off. There's no telling. So take your cymbals off one at a time. Take them outside and do it so that you don't mess up your drums and I highly recommend hosing the stuff off after the um, initial wipe down from your first towel and then drying them with the second towel. Take care of your stuff man, I mean it's not worth having acidic stuff sit on there and ruin your cymbals. So I want to show you the towel and the first towel which was clean when I started is a dirty mess. There's crap all over it. So after doing all these, you can see they look brilliant. And I apparently didn't know what the hell I was talking about because they look awesome. They look like brand new cymbals. And I really do like the Minel stuff even though the black residue didn't come off my ride cymbal. And um, you know, I'm not so sure it's from my nylon tip sticks because it's not on my hi-hat cymbal on the top. So just so you know how much this traveled, I ended up with a third of the bottle left. I only did the top sides of this and I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 cymbals of various sizes and um, I didn't do the bottom hi-hat, just that one you can't see. So top sides all I did, got through two-thirds of one bottle. The biggest cymbal I've got is a 22 inch ride. These are 16 and 18 crashes over here, 15. Typical 15s, 16s, 17s, 14s. So that's what you get with it. I want to do one last test and see if they sound the same or any different. I played these for years. I bought them at the distribution center in Idaho. I can tell you without a doubt, they even sound better. I'm not being paid by Minel. I played them for many years since I had Rakers as a kid. I love Minel cymbals and I like this product too. Clean up your cymbals. This stuff is a good deal. It goes a long way. I'm very happy with it and I initially didn't know what I was talking about. If someone from the factory can tell me how to get the black gunk off my ride, I would totally appreciate it. Thank you.